right, let's take a look at Bandai, shall we? Bandai is here at the Shizuoka Hobby Show. They've got another big booth as usual. And look at that, here's a sign that says, what's new? So let's head on over there and check it out and find out what is new from Bandai. All right, guys, here it is. We finally get to see it. Bandai showed this kit, or announced this kit, I should say, just shortly before the hobby show on Twitter. And here we have it, the Real Grade Unicorn Gundam. And this kit is, of course, it's going to be the regular unicorn mode here. And in the back there, we can see it in its full destroy mode glory. Look at that. This is looking like a pretty interesting, a pretty, it's going to be a great kit. I don't know how finicky it's going to be to put together or how finicky it'll be to transform it, but that is definitely going to be a fun kit to put together. And here we can see the inner frame. This inner frame is going to have both the clear red parts and the gray parts. They're mixed together in two plastics molded into one B runner. You can see here they've got it just without the armor, just in the frame form here. That looks pretty cool. All right, so here is another surprise from the show. This is the mega size line is not dead yet. And the real grade unicorn is not the only new unicorn that's coming out. Look at that. That's right. Huge. This is mega size unicorn Gundam. And this one looks like it's only going to be in destroy mode. So I don't think you'll be able to transform it back to unicorn mode if you want. Probably they're going to come out with this kit because they have that uh, new 1-1 scale unicorn statue that's going to be in Odaiba and that is coming soon. So just like its brother, the RX-78-2 that had the life-size statue, they're going to have the unicorn as well. And look at that. You can see how much this unicorn towers over that mega size RX-78-2. This is going to be, if you're a fan of the big kits, you will not want to miss out on this one. This one is going to be due out in August. Another new high resolution model is on the way here and we have the Wing Gundam Zero endless waltz version as you can see from those butterfly wings so we had the barbados already and that came out in the high resolution model so now we are they are continuing that and we are getting a new high resolution model this will be out in september and just like the barbados this one is probably going to have a pretty hefty price i think the tag says around the uh, ichiman ni sen kyuhaku roku juen so about $130 or so, of course, our HLJ price probably will be a bit cheaper than that. So fans of those kits where you kind of just uh, put the armor on outside of the inner frame, you probably will not want to miss out on this one. Also, any fans of the Wing Zero, this has got some pretty, a pretty great sculpt of this kit, I believe. Double Zeta is here as well, and this is the first time that we're actually going we are getting to take a look at the actual kit, not just line arts as they've released before. This looks to be, this is, I know a lot of people are excited for this kit. This is going to be a fantastic kit and this is due out in September. This is the version Ka, of course. Look at those lines. This is going to be a beauty. All the fans of Master Grades, I know you have been waiting for this one. All right. We have new Build Fighter announcements on the way as well. And here up, first up, we are looking at this says, this is a new Gundam Build Fighters, new Gundam. It just says tentative, we don't know the name, but just looking at the armor there, it looks pretty familiar to another kid. I think you'll know what I'm talking about. This one is going to be out in August as well. And over here we got like a trio, but I believe this is probably just one kit with it comes with a number of different options here. This is going to be, it just says HGBF, GM, GM. So you're gonna be able to build a couple of different looking GM kits from this, as you can tell by looking at those heads there. 
This one will be due out in August as well. And to go along with this new GM, we do have a new weapon pack. Give you some new options for guns here. And coming on over here, we have, as you can see here, there's four of them. These are top secret kits, so we can't exactly tell what is inside. We don't know when these will be coming out, but these are on the way as well. Maybe some sharp-eyed viewers will be able to look at those silhouettes and figure out maybe what we can expect from these kits. Lots of new exciting stuff coming out for Build Fighters. Another Origin kit is also on the way here. This is due out in October and this is the HG Gundam local type North American front and it's looking pretty sinister I gotta say with that black and orange looking colors. New build fighters are on the way. They have announced a new Gundam Build Fighter Extra Battle Project. We're going to get a lot of new kits. I, I don't know which characters are going to be in this one. Or is it going to be the original characters there? Or is it going to be the, the tri characters? Can't say. As you can tell over here, well, so I'm going crazy with the zoom there. We've got some top secret kits on the way as well. Hidden in here with a lot of the kits that have already been released and are on sale, there is a just says 2017 summer next don't know what's coming here but that's on the way as well all right here we have china guy china guy will be out in july she is looking mighty pretty she has the option of course she can be built with the bear head on or with the bear head off and she's got some real hands that are going to go under those bear claws there and not just china guys on the way we saw this before but here there's they have another one in color this is going to be they're calling it Hyper Gianco, and this one will be out in August. She's looking pretty spiffy there with her two shields from the Gian, of course. And she can be built with or without those. Looks pretty cool. All right, more kits in the new What's Coming section. We have the Fulina Hoshino. This is the new figureized bust, and this is actually coming out this month, end of the month, I believe, you can find it on our site. And down here we have a new HG GM. This one is going to be due out in August. All right, and then up here we have, this is another kit that's coming out this month, the HG Gundam Thunderbolt version, Gundam Ground Type S. That's looking like a pretty cool and interesting kit. And over here we do have the Barzam. This one is also due out this month, actually next week I believe. As well as, I know this is what everyone has been looking forward to, the most anticipated kit, <laughs> the Pucci guy. We have got the Gianco and the Fumina. Those are also going, these are going to be out next month in June. And then down here, we have two new kits in test mode. All right, so the one on the left, actually, this one, by the time you guys are watching the video, this one should be live on the site for pre-order. This is the China guy. She's wearing her little cute little bear head. And we have another one right next to it. This is new for the show. We haven't seen it before. This is going to be Gianco. So she's going to get her own new kit as well. So for the, for the fans of those uh, the Fumina kits, if you really like these uh, girlish type kits, Bandai's coming, they're going to make them for you. All right, and due out in July is the e Free Schneid. So we had this kit already in RE1100 scale form, but now Bandai is bringing it out in the smaller HG kit form. And that's looking interesting. This one will be out in July. And down here we have another May release. This is the Legend, one of the Legend BB series. Not exactly sure what the name of this one is. I don't remember off the top of my head, but this is BB kit number 403. And another one that should be on the site by the time you guys are watching this video. This is the new RE100. This is the Hama Hama. 
Uh, we, we, we kind of had a preview of this one, I believe, back in, in the Tokyo show in August, or was that September? And now we're actually seeing it here in kit form. It looks to be a pretty good kit. Kind of got a modern style, not really like a retro-looking Hamanahama, but that is also going to be interesting as well. And of course, we have, I know a lot of people have been waiting for this one, the Master Grade Justice Gundam. This is coming out in June, so this will be out in next month, and you can find this on our site as well. If you guys haven't tried these Bandai Grand Ship Collection One Piece Ship Kits, you should give one a try. They are pretty cool. They're pretty fun to build together. They just snap together like a Gundam kit. And if you're a fan of ships or if you're a fan of the One Piece series, you won't want to. You'll probably want to give one of these a try. There are two new ones coming out on the way as well. And here we have Big Mama's Pirate Ship. As you can see there, she likes her colorful pink and she likes her candy. There's a giant cake on the front of the ship because every pirate ship needs to have a giant cake, of course. And of course, there's one more. This one is actually kind of just a new recolor of the, the Going Merry. We had a, I believe Going Merry was actually the first kit of the Grand Ship Collection that released and we're getting a new, I believe this is a memorial color version. And we have new Dragon Ball kits on the way in their Figurize series. We've done a couple of these. I believe we did one or two on the show. We did that Super Saiyan Ball, of course, that Sid built. And just, I don't know if they wanted to try to top that ball as far as big kits go, but take a look at this monstrosity. This is Trunks Time Machine, and this is a pretty large kit. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball, this one was going to look really nice on your shelf next to that super pod that Sid built earlier. And we have a couple of little tiny Dragon Ball kits coming as well. We've got a bike and another another one. Mecha, these are Mecha Collection kits, so just easy to snap together with the ones on the back there. Bandai is also bringing another Yamato kit on the way. As you can tell by that display base, this kit is going to have lights and it's going to have sounds as well, which is kind of fun, but it does add to the cost a bit. But if you are a fan of Yamato and if you're a fan of building these ships, you probably will not want to miss out on this one. If you guys haven't built Bandai's fantastic VF31J kit, you might want to hold off because they've got a new one coming out in the way in June. This one, though, is going to come with a new water slide decal sheet, and you can build it with this character on the back. And there you can see the decal sheet on the side. It's going to be a new special version. And there's also a new version of the Draken as well, the SV262HS, just like that, the VF31J. This version just has a new decal sheet included with it, so you can build it with that lovely lady on the back. Although not for sale and still fun to look at, Bandai has brought this monstrous Andromeda to the show just for display. This thing is about, oh goodness, this thing is about nine feet long. All right, well, while Gundam kits are going to mostly be for the boys, although they do have some kind of, some girl stuff that they might be interested in, the Papa guy and the Poochie guys and those stuff, Bandai has this new thing they are calling Hako Room. And these are just like, just like the Gundam kits. They come on the sprues, although they have some kind of cute looking sprue layouts here with little bare ears and whatnot. Looks like you can just break these parts off easily without need of any nippers or anything anything like that. And you can build these little cool play sets with these. Just kind of something fun, maybe when you're out with a hobby, hobby shop and little Billy wants a gun down, little Jane, you can buy her a, a Hako Room kit. While Bandai already has a kit out of this, I know some of you out there, you'd rather have more of a kind of Maybe a slightly better detailed kit that doesn't have the transform feature. And for that, Hasegawa has you covered. Coming out this June is this BF31J from Hasegawa here. 
And let me take a scroll back so you can see the parts break down. Unlike the Bandai kit, this one doesn't really transform. You're just going to build it as is. And you are going to have to paint it yourself. And you're going to have an option here of a twin pilot or a single pilot option there, it looks like. And there's two different canopies if I'm looking at this here, if I'm looking at this right here. And also coming in the Macross line from Hasegawa is a SV262HS. We have this one on the site already. This was part of the Hasegawa Shizuoka, Shizuoka Show Hobby Sneak Peek. Look at that decal sheet. You're going to have a lot of fun decaling this one with all those gold lines. At least that saves you from having to go through and paint the gold if you want. Or you could go through and mask it all off and paint it if you would like. New Mashes and Krieger kits are on the way from Hasegawa as well. Look at these. I know there's lots of fans of this series. You can really do some nice weathering and some great, uh, some great paint work on these kits if you put the effort into it. This is a plastic model, not snapped together like the Bandai kits. But for those of you that actually like to model and actually like to paint, the mock kits, mock kits, Mushes and Krieger, I believe. These are fun kits to build and to paint and to weather. If you guys haven't seen these Hasegawa Mechatro kits before, these are pretty interesting kits. They've got a, quite the unique style, I have to say. And there are two new ones coming on the way from Hasegawa here. You can see them there, a little tiny scale here. They've got some interesting colors and interesting interesting lines. I believe these are kind of slightly new in that they have claws for hands now, whereas the older ones had a slightly different design claw. There you can see only the, the double pincer, but over here on the new one we do have a triple pincer type claw. Alright, if you are a fan of both Macross and Big Kits, you will not want to miss out on this huge monstrosity coming from Max Factory. This is a whoppingly large 120th scale. This is the VF1 Fighter, of course. You can see they got some of the parts up here on the wall. Look at the size of the wings. Look at the size of those legs. This is going to be the centerpiece of anyone's Macross model kit collection. A couple of other new kits are on the way from Max Factory, and this is from the anime series Dagram. This is kind of new to me, but these look like some pretty interesting characters. And we have a little spider walking kit over here. These are prototypes, so they are just regular gray primer colored plastic here. About in October from Aoshima is this cool looking Cyber Formula car. We, get, we can see all the parts there up on the board, but let me show you the actual kit itself. Look at this car. That is pretty crazy looking. Look at all that detail on the inside there. You got the full engine, the driver, and here it is with the body and fully assembled. If you're a fan of fantasy race cars, that's going to be something pretty cool to put together, I think. Godzilla! Aoshima is bringing us an actual model kit. This is a plastic model kit of the Mega Godzilla. Still at the Aoshima booth. That's right, you're looking at some robots, although these aren't Gundam kits. It looks like Aoshima is going to be making some kind of, uh, you know, I guess, mobile suit looking kits here. It says, uh, oh, Full Metal Panic. If that's an anime series, I'm not too keen on it. I might not know, but these are some interesting looking kits. Really, really Gundam looking here. It would be pretty cool. Let's see if we can put them together for you on Gunpla TV maybe. These will be out in September, it says.